Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. Uh, today, we're going to do some banana pudding. Believe me, it's easier than what you think. I have two boxes of vanilla pudding mix. Yes, you use vanilla pudding mix. These were from Aldi. I don't remember how much they cost because I already had them here. But with that, you need a whisk, a bowl, I'm just going to use this bowl. You're going to need some vanilla wafers, as many as you want. You need milk. Usually I use um, two cups of milk for every packet of pudding. And it, it's also on a pack, it'll tell you. And I also use evaporated, um, not evaporated milk, condensed milk. So when I'm using my condensed milk, which makes it a little sweet, the younger people usually like that. When I use that, I'll use a little less whole milk. I use whole milk. Some people use 2% milk. Whatever milk you usually, um, you're comfortable with using, that's what you use. Okay, let's now pack it in. Move this out my way as I go along. So another pack it in. This is two packs. Oops. Okay. We're gonna, I will feel like to mix it around a little bit. And of course, I'm gonna measure one cup. Y'all know I'm gonna pour the rest. That's one cup of milk, two cups of milk, three cups of milk. And I did like a quarter or a half, but you could use two. You could use, I'm sorry, four cups of milk, two cups for every packet. I'm going to whisk this around. And it says about two minutes, but I usually whisk it till it gets a little thick. And if I'm making way more than this, I usually use my um, mixer, my hand mixer. It says for two whole minutes. While this is thickening up, I'm going in with my sweet condensed milk, a can, any brand. I've used from Carnation to whatever is on sale. I think I picked this up at the dollar store because I realized I was going to make the banana pudding and I didn't have any. I keep telling y'all. You, you stick with me, you're going to be paying cheap, you're going to be paying um, fixing stuff less expensive, it's going to taste just as good as all these name brands, and you're going to be figuring out how you got extra money left, that's why. Okay, so I got some more, my vanilla flavoring, I probably didn't say, but vanilla, I don't mess around with the flavors now, I don't know need the um correct flavor yep and use like a teaspoon i'm just going oh i think i put a little bit more than a teaspoon but okay that's that mix that around in there and we're gonna get our containers ready and i already sliced up some bananas as well I let the banana put in rest for about five minutes. You can let it rest a few minutes longer if you would like. I'm getting ready to put it in the containers. I'm making one for my mom, one for my youngest son and his wife. My youngest son already told me, Ma, do not make us no big container. I'm cutting back. I said, well, don't be speaking. You, you say you cutting back, but your wife might want some. So I'm making some for them. My husband do not like banana pudding. And I just eat a little bit of sweets, so I'm going to put mine in a different container. So I'll let you see as I um, mix these up and I'll add the vanilla wafers, the bananas. I'll layer it up. right over top of the layers of the pudding mix. 
I'm doing two. One for my youngest son and his wife and one for my mom. Might as well just do them all together. And around, add some bananas on there. Like so, so then I'm going to make sure that the last layer is the actual vanilla wafers itself. I'm going to take a picture so you can see these as well. You can always sprinkle some of the crumb, the um, cookie crumbs across the top or something. I'm going to actually add some um, strawberry crunch on top of hers. Let's see if you can see this. Hers is layered. Can't see all the layers. I put a extra putting in there it's loaded and this the strawberry crunch i'm gonna sprinkle this on top so when i finish sprinkling this you might can't see the wafers but no it is wafers under here as well so strawberry crunch banana pudding we have that look at that that is so beautiful and regular and what i did for my son and his wife it might look a little sloppy but i did some extra cookie crumbs put across the top And these little cups I got from the dollar store. You can get these or even at part at the party store. If you're having something and you want to have something quick for your guests, you can always fill this up. It looks like a little champagne glass. Put some pudding at the bottom. And you could put even, I'm going to put the cookies around it because this is going to be for me. I don't eat a lot of banana pudding. Just put the cookies around it. Yep, just like that. And I like Twix. When I eat chocolate, I do eat Twix. So I'll take that off and put can break this little Twix miniature. And put it in there like that. Just like that. You can have something like that. If you're having a girl's night, it's not expensive. You can have the girls do it. Got by the little miniature spoons and they can use it and eat with it like that. Yummy. There go the strawberry crunch banana pudding. That's the one for my mom. This is the regular banana pudding. And I sprinkled the cookie crumbs all around. That's for my youngest son and his wife. And this is the one if you're having a girl's night. Let's use a little cup like that. You can put candy bars in the middle, how I put the Twix in the middle. But you don't have to. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Make it look a little fancy. Well, there you have it. Easy banana pudding recipe. You might want to try to make some Sunday. We had this Friday. You might want to make some Sunday. It's just quick to go and get the ingredients. And most of the stuff you probably have already in your kitchen. So you can make whip up that banana pudding. And somebody going to know you love them. Stay safe. Have a great weekend, and if nobody told you today, guess what? Sweet Re love you, you, and you. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next time. All right, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.